I came to a small village in Jizhou for a 28-day school trip. 14 students from SAS, including me, came to this village for an outside-of-the-bubble experience. At first, I was a little hesitant with this new way of learning, but I learned to love it. We had to connect with the locals. Each of us had to research a topic. Through this new way of learning, I have learned things about myself I never would if I didn't come on this. I've loved this trip, and it was very helpful with under understanding more about myself and the world. Before the trip, I decided that I wanted to work on recreation as my topic. I thought this was a good pick for me and that it'd be really interesting to research this in Shijo, and that it's fascinating to see the differences between Shanghai and this small village. We had to research a little about our topics before we left, and my, refer my research was very broad and not very organized researching. I was looking for the very broad side of the recreation. I think if I was more specific and detailed, my topic instead of being a large topic, would have been more narrow and detailed. Uh, all of the students needed to come up with 10 questions that we thought that would be answered and they would lead to more questions to help us research. Some of my questions were so off that I laughed at them. I thought this village was so different and not the same as Shanghai. I didn't even stop to think about how technology has found every corner of the world and that it might have hit Shizhou. I think that I was blind when I came when I came into it without a lot of direction and there was no experts in the village so I needed to become one. When I arrived at Shijo, I was really excited to start researching my topic and find more about it. I knew that I needed to narrow it down a little bit more so I could start looking for the smaller things that was really looking at the part of recreation. That happened to be middle school students and their leisure time and what they did in their free time. I thought it would be cool to see how their recreation is different and similar to ours back in Shanghai. Once I started to investigate more and narrow it down, I found that I had a light bulb moment and this is where I started to look more at the internet and online Shijo. This is where I got most of my information. I realized this first when I walked into the first internet cafe with Lauren and that, that not everybody is like some of the kids I've met. I realized that I was only looking at one type of student, and that was the athletic side. I didn't stop to think about the people that might have gone anywhere for the weekend, or read, or study some more. I didn't think about the kids that stayed home and worked for their parents and didn't have a lot of time to be hanging out with friends. I realized that not everyone is like me, and has things that interest me. Sure, there are some kids like me that play sports, but I found out that I was looking too much on my side and not at the other side. You can even look at my phase three work and look, and I found that I looked more at the sports and the physical activity they did here. After I realized this, I found more about the people that the stuff that they did stuff not like me, such as playing at home at internet bars or working for their parents. When I did realize this, this became so interesting with the other side of people that I almost stopped looking for the first side that I was looking at. I didn't think about asking the parents for opinions on this. But that was very helpful near the end of my researching period. I found a group of kids in Shijo that were really cool and willing to give me lots of information. I had met these kids before my light bulb moment and I was looking at them, but after they gave me lots of information on the internet bars and it was really, really helpful. I found that you cannot find out a group of people's recreation because there is no certain type of group. Sure, they're the kids who play basketball and the kids who go shopping, but everyone has different interests and opinions on their recreational activities. I started to look more at the kids who went to the internet cafes and who stayed at home with their parents to help them work. This is different than the first group of kids that I looked at and it intrigued me even more. I found that these kids go to the internet cafes and they will stay there for whole days, in some cases overnight. This is really unhealthy, but it's interesting to see them so addicted to these games. I never would have thought I found this in Shijou. I also found that kids that don't think they'll get into high school give up on school or drop out. They'll work for their parents and go to these internet bars often. I met a 17-year-old boy who dropped out of high school earlier this year and started to work for his parents. I found all di different perspectives on recreation in Shijo. I found that the kids are actually a lot like Shanghai and the things that they do are a lot like Shanghai. I found that almost 85% of them do the activities that we do back in Shanghai. 
One unfortunate thing that I did find out is that homework and schoolwork is almost twice as much as what we do at SAS. They start school at 7.30, end at 5.30, and do homework till almost 11.30. This is harsh, and it's not a good way to live. It's unfortunate that they have to do this. Overall, my experience here in Shijo was life-changing, and I think I'll remember this amazing event forever. This journey has changed my ways of thinking that I never would have found unless I come here. I found that this place is not different from other places, but the spirit of the people is so much different. All of them are so nice and so giving, even though we're more fortunate than them. I think that it's not the physical appearance of Shijo that makes them who they are, but the inside and the secrets that it has locked away.